Hi guys, another fantastic application for Lumia App A Day. This is number 15 and it's SurfCube 3D Browser. This is a third party browser that looks really impressive for your Nokia Lumia 800. We'll just go through the features right now. Just swipe down, notice that 3D pane which shows you your address bar as well as favorites. We'll look into that again later. Flick over with this little joystick to switch tabs. Click on a new tab. It's gone by nokiablog.com. Typing really slowly because I'm at a weird angle. The tripod is just next to me. So here we go. I know a lot of you have been saying that this takes a while to load in your desktop browser, so it's probably not the best website to show off here. But as you can see, it's loading fairly quickly, relatively quickly on this browser which does use the Internet Explorer 9 engine. Quick pinch and zoom. Quick scrolling. Just tap on this. New news about some New dynamic icons for Anna. Yeah, you can swipe up in any of the four different directions. Swipe left, swipe right, swipe down, swipe up. Swiping left is to change tabs. Swiping up and down is to go to the address bar, favorites, history. So that just switching favorites and history. Switching tabs is very easy. Also got that double tap to zoom, double tap to zoom out. Reloading. Right, swiping over to the right gives you the options. You can do this just by the grab or by the joystick. Some of these things aren't turned on by default. You're going to want to turn them on. And it'll also give you a little tutorial on how it actually works. It's got stuff like enable orientation lock. Enable joystick, enable edge grab, you can even enable flick detection. So you can flick between pages. Probably not the most useful all the time. I prefer to use the screen edge grabs. It's a little bit like swiping on the N9 perhaps. Here you've got some quick tabs at the top instead. That's another different view you can get from this browser. So that's the quick tab bar. You see you can just swipe to get these options and then within that you've got your own set of panoramic organization of categories. Next up, yet another great feature which will allow you to save some bandwidth. You can save bandwidth by reducing to just images and text or you can cut out images altogether. So this can turn any web page instantly into a mobile web page. So here we go, we have a mobile web page. You don't have to rely on the website itself having a web version, a, sorry, a mobile version. It will just turn anything into a mobile web page. And you'll notice everything loads up much more quickly. Check YouTube. Instead of the HTML5 version, you've got this mobile version. Let's all check out BBC. Exactly the same, you have a really nice mobile version. Just swipe again, take out all the images altogether if you've got no 3G connection at all, or your Wi-Fi is really slow. Then just back to normal, switch bandwidth save off, and you'll see BBC, and it loads much quicker. 
they got better servers than we do. Pinch zoom really quickly. Panning around the page, zoom out. And yeah, this all works in landscape too. Switch the phone to landscape. Portrait, landscape, portrait. You get the point. You've got more details about Surfview Browser over at the written portion of this Lumi App a Day at mynokiablog.com. Now, thanks for watching. That was Lumi App a Day number 15, Surfcube 3D Browser.